Medicine Square Garden down on 34th and 8th Avenue in Manhattan, clearing out the world's most famous arena, getting a lot of airtime this week, the Republican National Convention. In Virginia, Republican leaders have named a new candidate to replace U.S. Congressman Edward Schrock in November's election. Real estate agent Thelma Drake will take his place on the ballot. Representative Schrock dropped out of the race yesterday, the latest twist in a drama, and it was a drama, that began a couple of weeks ago. Reporting this story for us, CNN's Tom Foreman. Republican Congressman Ed Schrock, an opponent of gay rights, abandoned his reelection bid two weeks after a stunning accusation. Gay rights activist Michael Rogers said on his website that the conservative married Baptist father was leading a secret gay life. We're telling people that there are legislators in the government who are, on one hand, leading double lives and then turning around and legislating against the very people that they're living these lives with. Rogers has a recording of what he says is Schrock using a telephone dating service to contact gay men. CNN cannot confirm its authenticity, and Schrock has admitted nothing. But in a written statement, he said, these allegations will not allow my campaign to focus on the real issues. At the end of the day, he wanted to spare this district and the voters of this district the endless barrage of, of ads participating in the politics of personal destruction. Many gay rights activists were furious with Schrock, a Vietnam vet, for wanting to end the military's don't ask, don't tell policy. He reportedly proposed questioning each new soldier about his or her sexuality so that gays could be driven out. They were mad that he was strongly backing efforts to ban same-sex marriage. But some gays are still uneasy about how he was attacked. The log cabin Republicans fear such tactics are so mean-spirited they will undermine support for gay issues. I wish all the energy that is going into delving into people's personal lives was put into changing hearts and minds of members of Congress. Are the methods you use really fair? Absolutely. Absolutely. Rogers is not apologizing, and he is promising more outings in coming weeks. Tom Foreman, CNN, Washington. As we said at the top of the program tonight, no lack of news beyond the convention today, and much of it was grim, all of it important. So here now, a few of those stories from around the country and around the world. The number of hostages confirmed 